Hi, I'm Austin Ertham. And I'm Taylor Patton. Welcome to the Kitchen Table Podcast. Here to motivate, educate, and relate to you guys, sharing our stories, hoping you get 1% better in all areas of your life. We're back on the 1440 episode here. 14 minutes and 40 seconds is approximately 1% of your day. We're here again with Nate Hager. Thanks for being here, Nate. Absolutely. Uh, before we get going to more about ownership, I saw a great quote on Twitter just now as we were taking a little break. Let me hear it. Speak you can away. be the smartest person in the room, but if you can't connect with others, you'll fail as a leader. Great Amen. leaders communicate and connect. What do you think about that one, Nate? Amen. Couldn't have said it better myself. So earlier... Belt Jetters, honestly. I was wisdom. Goosebumps. Yeah. So we had you on on Tuesday or Tuesday's episode. And you talked a lot about connecting with your soldiers. Well, you, can you tell us again why that is so important? I think the uh, biggest reason it's so important is just to uh, remember that they're people. It doesn't have to be soldiers. Anybody that works for anybody needs to be treated like a person. And when you treat someone like a person, you're more than likely going to get optimal work out of them. Yeah. Running on all cylinders. Yeah, rather that be, I mean, just coworkers, kids. Yeah. Like it doesn't. Like it does not be just like in the military as an organization. Mm -hmm. Anywhere. Yeah, I mean, when you and like people like see belief that like you believe in them and that they're gonna like produce for you. Yes. And that means they just feel like they're valued and like people a lot based a lot of like who they are off the value they bring other people mm -hmm. which is like, on, like a great thing to be to value yourself of is the value you bring other people yeah and i think this episode has tuesday's episode for sure and then this episode on a smaller uh scale is going to have a lot of places that has value to it a lot of places in terms of accountability reflection um, getting 1% better, um, just taking ownership really, I think, portrays getting better. Um, but one thing I want to ask you, Nate, that's a little personal, maybe to your life, is what are you working on to have ownership of right now? Uh, well, as stated earlier, you know, I'm newly married, mm -hmm. and uh, I think something I'm just trying to get better at each day is just be a better husband, a better man, and uh, prepare myself to um, someday be a father. And you are. You're, you're a dog dad. Yeah, I'm, I'm a puppy. I'm a puppy <laughs> dad. You know, he's seven months old, three years in dog years already. It's <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think the biggest thing is just... <laughs> Made it through the terrible tears. Yeah, we did. We did. Just passed that last month, you know. Uh, no, I think the biggest thing right now is just... I'm trying to prepare myself to um, be the best husband I can be and uh, most importantly, the best future father that I can be. And um, we all have things we gotta work on and I just try to make myself better each day. And, you know, happy wife, happy life. Those of you that don't know, uh, when you do get married, just keep in mind, uh, you, you men out there, you do not have a uterus. <laughs> Therefore, you are wrong. That's up. all you need to know. That's wait, literally all you need to know. That's the first thing I think about when I wake up. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's, when I hear that quote, I always think about um, your wedding. And yeah. And your dad and brother talking about that. <laughs> it's it, so funny. Just hear me out, boys. Listen, fellas, when you get married, you do not have a uterus. Therefore, you are wrong. If you live by that, you will have the happiest marriage ever. It's really about being selfish. <laughs> selfless is what, is what we Yes. This is what it is. Yeah. Yes. Um, if you don't mind going a little deeper into that, um, in ownership, you say you're trying to get better at being a husband, et cetera, et cetera, future father. Is there certain points you're trying to get better at listening? You're trying to have more balance, trying to spend more time together? Um, yeah. If you don't mind saying a couple of just... Um, things that you're specifically working on to get down to the nitty gritties. Yep. Uh, big thing. You kind of stole it already. I am trying to be a better listener to my wife. Um, not always the best at that. Uh, I think 
I let my work take over a lot of my time and I'm proud of my work and I'm proud and I'm proud of what I do each and every day and I want to be the best leader that I can possibly be because I owe that to the people that uh, I work with and that work for me mm -hmm. and at times I struggle with that work-life balance and probably um, need to correct my azimuth on where I'm going with uh, my time and just dedicating as much time as I possibly can to my family because ultimately without my family I wouldn't be able to work or be there mentally so I think listening spending more time uh, with family and ultimately you know uh, I'm a fairly religious guy and I try to uh, give as much time to God as I possibly can and that's something I know I have to do better at each and every day so I think those things and then um, you know as somebody that's hopefully going to be a father someday I want to uh, go back to school and start my master's and I'm sure you want to do the same thing maybe not but I know that's something I would like to do to be able to just yeah. say I have do it for myself really and yeah my wife's going to have hers done soon, so I feel like I need to <laughs> pick keep my up. stuff up. <laughs> right. I like that. I do, too. Um, you can go ahead if you have a question. I got a bunch. I, I really just lost my train of thought, so you're good. Okay. You're um, so good. one thing I wanted to talk about there is, one, I'm trying to work on listening, too. So I feel you on that one. Two is I just lost my train of thought, too. <laughs> um... No, you were talking about your religion, right? And how you want to spend more time in the church, et cetera, et cetera. I heard a great quote the other day. I was actually talking to um, Father Ken, um, priest from college, um, about doing our wedding in uh, next October. And he talked about how your priorities, you're talking about work-life balance, your priorities, which based on that also, I think that your wife does understand that you are very proud of your work and want to spend time in that and enjoy it. And I think she knows that it's for the good of like not only you and her, but the whole country. So I know that speaking for both of us and her, that we appreciate um, you serving in the army and um, protecting our country, stuff like that. But she also wants you home as well. Right. Um, it, it just goes with intentions. Like. Yeah. And that so like you're when you're dedicated to work you're like focused on your work and then when you're home you're you're like focused on your wife and then building that yeah, relationship you gotta be present yeah um but they, and that, but and so go ahead I, I was just gonna speak into that like that like that's just a huge thing and uh, like I mean I feel like I always ask for like more time than they but it's just where you allocate your time and how <laughs> yeah much attention yeah. you have yeah you only got twenty four hours yeah um, um twenty five so can, let me can I go on the quote that father told me first yeah he talks about you really know your balance based on what your calendar says and what your checkbook says. Those are you, that's your priorities and that's where you're most balanced. If you're spending money on things you shouldn't be spending on, okay, you're out of balance. If you're, if you're doing one thing and not others that you should or want to go to, you want to get your master's, you want to go to um, the church more and spend more time with your wife. If none of those are on the schedule and none of those are in the checkbook, then you got to change some priorities. That's what I learned, which I, you might already know that. No, I, I completely agree. I mean, you guys know I uh, I think, Austin, this is a good tip for you and Steph. You can't have a relationship without forgiveness, mercy, love. Taylor, take note because you're going to need this. I was like, what am I, chop liver over here? Like, no, uh, <laughs> forgiveness, mercy, love. You got to have those three things in a relationship. You can remember it by FML. Don't get it confused with whatever's going through your head. But forgiveness, <laughs> mercy, love. Love it. Those are the koozies. At the wedding. But yeah, she definitely has to give me a lot of forgiveness because I mess up daily. We all do. It's sure. just a matter of owning it. I love it. <laughs> Swinging that back in there. Sure. How are you been stepping out of your comfort zone? How are you progressing in, this, in your life that way? Uh, I think um, really just trying to, I'm not used to praying, I guess as much in the middle of the day and at the beginning of the day so and trying to do that more often especially with my wife uh, we actually just started a book each night before bed 
We read it one page out of this book that's meant for married couples before you go to bed to think about and, and talk about. And that's been something new for us. Uh, another way is sitting here with you guys. I've never done anything like this. And uh, I really, honestly, absolutely hate talking about myself <laughs> like with a passion. So um, this has definitely made me step out of my comfort zone. Yeah, she's gonna be You're great. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have a great reflection. How have you yeah. guys done it and then, in the last week? Yeah. Oh, I was just thinking about this. First is uh, gratitude. So usually I just... They like, added that in the Whoop journal. Really? Yeah. Dang. I got to get a new charger. I got to get a new charger. <laughs> Anyways, continue. Anyway, so usually I'm just like, I just say thank you. Um, normally I, I say in the morning for sure. And then sometimes usually I say in the bedtime, I usually forget that part. It's like a 50, 50, <laughs> but now I like, I try and say it like when I eat like lunch and uh, not only do I pray, then I say like what I'm thankful for and that, and so that's one thing, um, I've been adding to and like, that's, I wouldn't say it's really stepping out of my comfort zone, but it's just adding a habit. But I feel like every time you add a habit, it's kind of like you step out of your comfort zone Yeah. and mm -hmm. a certain type of way, even if it's just like. A little stuff like that like that's just a minimal step i feel like i've added to my life all right what about you Aussie? uh going yeah. up going up the mental the mental uh what do you say mental step yeah i i've got that every day right now like workouts doing crossfit i literally kill myself crossfit yeah everybody loves that <laughs> i yeah it just sucks because i go to work all day and then i i literally today i was like my workout's not that hard but I want to go home and I've just been running around like crazy last month. So it's like, I see my fitness, like trying to like drop and I won't, I won't let it. So I keep going mm -hmm. and staying up late, getting things done for the kicking camp I ran this weekend and trying to, um, be a better listener for my fiance and we're trying to plan the wedding. So trying to put time into that, but also really trying to find time for us just to hang out and talk. Um, so really been getting out of my comfort zone and trying to balance my life. No, nothing like huge. Like I haven't done anything that's like scares me, but again, working out at seven o'clock on a Saturday night after driving five and a half hours and then helping another kid kick and I, just doing things you don't want to do is what I've been yeah, doing. Lately. I saw that and I was like, whoa. I was like, this is not awesome. I was like, yeah, working, I working out on a Saturday after in the I, PM alone. I didn't have a choice. I mean, yeah. I do have a choice, but... Yeah. Aussie's I, getting after it. I'd say that. Like, me and my new, like, my new leg workout. Like, yeah, Taylor's ass, about like, throwing up every time yeah. he works out. And, yeah, just that stepping out of my comfort zone. Like, just literally, like, obliterating, like, myself. And just literally pushing myself, like, as far as I can go. Yeah. And uh, so. Go ahead. Yeah. My, my legs hurt, like, <laughs> every day. That's awesome. <laughs> like, I love it. But, Pain is growth, baby. Yeah. Uh. Then, Nate, one, one last, one last thing for you here. We got about um, a minute and a half here before we got to wrap things up. Ownership. One word or phrase to define ownership that you can't use the word. What comes to mind? You can think about it. You got about 30 seconds here. <laughs> yeah. Set <laughs> silence. Humility. Great word. Explain if, briefly. If you have... Um, the gumption, the heart, the cojones, the cojones. To, to take a step back and really dive deep into what your actions actually are and where you're actually at in life and where you compare to others and take a step back and realize that you can be better and you're not the best. I think that uh, overall you're going to do a lot better when it comes to owning your mistakes or your successes awesome love it thank you again for joining us uh we really appreciate having you on uh taylor you got anything for nate before he leaves just thank you i love all of this love this new segment we're doing adding in this one percent of the day thank you for coming thank you for being a part of our life thank you for just everything and the blessings you are and the blessings, the blessings you bring keep leading out there buddy follow yeah. me on or follow me follow us <laughs> on our, follow me too but follow us on our socials i'm a underscore earth i'm 17 we got taylor dot Patton, and then we got kitchen table pod or it's just kitchen table I'm underscore cool. pod youtube is the kitchen table podcast amen and we'll link nades too as well thank you love you